Hey guys, I've had my coffee, so I'm a little more awake now than the last video. Um, so, our next topic for today is, is WH questions, but also we're looking at auditory memory, like we did with our inferences. Um, this is also going to help with skills related to the main idea uh, of a paragraph of information. So, this ties a lot of different things together. Uh, if your student um, or your child has the WH questions visual that I had in my other episode about WH questions, I highly recommend that you use that with this activity today, um, especially if it helps them. Uh, additionally, I'm going to read these aloud. This is how this is going to work. I'm going to read these aloud. And um, there's going to be WH questions. There's going to be a who, what, when, where, and why. So obviously these are getting harder, um, you know, because a why question is harder to answer than a who question. So think about that. So if your child is having a hard time with answering the why question, it's okay. Um, if they are answering all the who questions, all the what questions, maybe they're having trouble with just when questions or just where questions, then I would try and focus on asking more of those around the house. I would try asking, um, maybe going back and reviewing um, some of the questions that I gave. Um, any of my parents for my specific school, you can contact me and I can always send you WH question lists for you to ask if you're, you know, you don't know what to ask at home. You know, if you're sitting around at home like, I don't know what to ask, how to ask my child a where question. I can send you a list that has, um, you know, facilitating different WH questions within the home um, as well as, you know, book companions. So if you have some books at home, I can uh, send like a list of questions to go along with those books. So it's definitely something I can do. Um, parents, feel free to contact me if you do want more work for your child because I can um, send it electronically. So uh, anyways, back to speech therapy during COVID. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read this paragraph and then here are my questions. What the child sees is this little picture that goes with the story because a visual is always helpful when we're working on speech therapy um, activities. So there's that. Um, and all I'm going to do is read the story, ask the questions. The first couple I'm probably going to answer along with and then I'm going to um, let your child practice with you or independently, whichever one feels right. I'm going to do, let's go for 10 cards today. Let's, let's do it. These are kind of big paragraphs, but I feel that, you know, this is something we should work on. So this story is called Jasmine the Giraffe. Jasmine the Giraffe wandered away from her mother to find the tastiest leaves. Suddenly, Jasmine realized she was lost. She looked for her mother among the trees, but saw only monkeys. She looked in the fields, but saw only zebras. Finally, at noon, Jasmine heard her mother call from the hilltop, Jasmine, lunch is ready. So there's our story. Paragraph, only four sentences about who couldn't find her mother. Who? It's probably this person and this animal in the picture. What was their name? Jasmine, right? And what did Jasmine see in the fields? In the fields, she was looking for her mother. She found zebras. And when did Jasmine hear her mother? When? When is a time? So let's think of our times. Did we hear a time in that paragraph? Noon. And where did Jasmine's mother call her from? The hilltop. That one might be a little harder. A hilltop. Um, and why did Jasmine wander away? Do you remember? What was the first reason that she wandered away? It was because she wanted to find the tastiest leaves. So, good job. Let's do another one. This one is called Harry Hank. 
Hank's hair grows faster than anyone's. He has to get his hair cut every Tuesday. From his house, Hank walks to the barbershop on Main Street. Last Tuesday, Bud the barber accidentally shaved off all of Hank's hair. Bud said, I guess now you can come back in two Tuesdays. Okay, so guys, who cuts Hank's hair? And I know you're probably thinking, oh, it's this guy, but what was his name? Bud the Barber. And what did Bud accidentally do to his hair? Like, what did, what did he do? He cut it all off. And when does Hank get his hair cut? When is a time or a day? So what day? I'm thinking. Tuesday, right? And where is the barber shop? The barber shop is on, because where is a place? It's on Main Street. And why does Hank go to the barber shop so often? Does his hair grow faster or does it grow slow? I think it grows fast. If it grew slow, we wouldn't be needing to go to the barber shop every week. Okay, you guys want to see my cat? Here he is in all his glory. Making your debut, huh? So, yeah, this is what we've been doing. He usually chills with me when we do um, videos. So, here's our next one. This is called A Sleep in Snoozeville. Snoozeville is a very boring town. So, every winter, the people of Snoozeville have a sleeping contest to pass the time. This year, Sophie Slumberson won the contest. She fell asleep at the dinner table for 49 hours. Oh, man. This year's prize, like every year, was a brand new bed. So, who won the sleeping contest? I know it's the girl in the picture, but we'll do, what's her name? That's what we have to remember. We have to remember these details that I say. What was the prize? What did they get a prize for sleeping for so long for? And when is the sleeping contest? When? So when is a time, a date? When is it? Where did Sophie fall asleep? That visual can help us, right? And why do they have a sleeping contest? Okay. You want to do one more, Loki, or you want to get down? One more? Okay. Basketball star. Okay. This one is probably going to be uh, something that might interest you because I know a lot of my friends like to play basketball. So, Louie liked to watch the older kids play basketball in the park after school. One day, the best basketball player, Derek, tossed Louie the base, the ball and said, we need another player. Louie couldn't believe it. He was so excited. He spun the basketball on his finger. So who, you guys, is the best basketball player? What, where in the story did it say the best basketball player? Who did Louie, what, or I'm sorry, what did Louie do with the ball? So what did he do? Our visual can help us with that. When do the older kids play basketball? So when is a time or a day? I think in this instance it's a time. And where do they play baseball? Basketball. I don't know why I keep saying baseball. Where do they play basketball? And why did Derek toss Louie? The basketball. So, he wants to get down. Yeah, you know, I hear you. Okay, so speaking of cats, this next one is called Katie the cat. Katie is a very lucky cat. She lives a life of danger every day. I mean, look at the picture. You can totally tell. In the morning, she jumps from the rooftop to rooftop in search of birds in the afternoon, she hunts mice in the dark sewer. At night, she walks on the telephone wire back into her house through the open window. Whoa. So who is this very lucky cat? What's her name? And what does Katie walk on to get back into her house? That visual. Look at that visual. When does Katie search for birds? 
So is in the morning, night, afternoon. When does Katie search for birds? Where does Katie go at night? Where? At nighttime, she does something specific. And why does Katie go into the sewer? Which is kind of gross, but like, what is she getting in the sewer? Okay, so those were, that was five. So, like I said, these are, uh, long. I'll do a couple more just for time's sake because I know people want to get on with their day. Okay, so this one's called Bug Lover. Jackson loves bugs. His favorite bug is a stick bug because he likes the way it blends in with twigs and branches. Do you see the stick bug on the picture? He's so happy he found it. He loves to hunt for stick bugs when he visits his uncle in Arizona. When Jackson goes to Arizona in April, he hopes to find at least 20 stick bugs. So who loves bugs? What was his name? What is Jackson's favorite bug? This visual will help us. When will Jackson visit his uncle? So they, I said a month. So what month was that? And where did his uncle live? And why does Jackson love stick bugs? Why does he like them so much? Why does he like those? Do you remember? Okay. Okay. Spooky school is our next one. So this is going to be our last one for today. Um, again, these cards are by Super Duper, like most of my things. It's a great speech therapy company, therapy company in general that sells supplies for us. Um, but if you want more materials for your child to help with this specifically, I can send, um, paragraphs that have WH questions and paper copies. Um, I can send them electronically to you, unfortunately. I can't really um, drop anything off anyone's houses, but um, we do what we can, right? Uh, just shoot me a message. I am on Dojo. I am on Google Classroom. Um, and I have given you my email and my phone number within the parent letters that were sent home. So you have all my information. And if you don't, um, you can comment on here. Um, or join Class Dojo, and it should you should be able to find me on Class Dojo. So, this next one is called Spooky School. Halloween at Spooky Elementary School is a big deal. All the students dress up in the scariest costumes they can find. They even create their own haunted house and try to scare the teachers. Last year, Principal Ghostly was so scared, she nearly fainted into a big bowl of candy. Who almost fainted? Who? And what did the students create? So what, what did they make? What is like a thing? And when do the students wear costumes? So when's the time? So what time? Um, what day? What holiday do they wear those costumes? Where does the story take place? So what's that setting? Where's that place? Where? And why did Principal Ghostly nearly faint? Why did she nearly faint? What did they do? Okay. That is all for today, you guys. Um, like I said, please feel free to reach out. I miss every single one of my students and I am, um, a little, a little antsy to get back and I'm sure you parents are as well. But, um, yeah, so please feel free to reach out if you have um, any questions, concerns, comments. If you want a video of something specific, I will try my best to come up with something uh, as well. So um, some ideas of what you think needs to be worked on. I will also take some of those. So have a great day. Enjoy this great Thursday and I will see you later. Bye.